Dr. Gaur, thank you for your time. My pleasure. Uh, before we get into the discussion of on asthma, uh, let me touch upon uh, your specialty area of respiratory and sleep. Why don't you give us a brief background of uh, what are the areas you look into? So uh, we look at basically diseases of the lung and of the respiratory system. And one of the other things that have sort of added to the specialty is sleep medicine. So this is a completely new field of medicine. I mean, it's not a new, new disease pattern. You know, people have had dis sleep disorders for 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 you know for long as as long as you can think. But it's now our focus. You know, medicine has always been typically about waking up and you know problems with them. We've not never thought about sleep because we thought it to be a very passive process. Now we understand it's an active process. So therefore, it has come into limelight. So that's new field that is you know my passion as well. So you are looking more into the apnea part of... Just not apnea, yes, of course, that is the bread and butter and the sort of engine of the specialty. But, uh, you know, there are so many other sleep problems that people have, insomnia, one of the most common people just not getting sleep, just not having the right sort of set for, you know, the sleep fake pattern. The, the, we've, we've got an epidemic of, I think, sleep deprivation. People work right. here, they've not just so that focus on sleep. So is not there. As a society, I think that's what is missing right. uh, and I think that's creating a lot of problems. Doctor, uh, briefly for our audience, what are respiratory disorders? So, if you talk about the respiratory disorders, the most common disorder I think the people know is as asthma. Then one of the other most common and the most sort of imp important problem is the COPD, which is very similar to asthma and sort of the disease of the smokers and that you, you know, you're seeing more and more of it. It is now the sixth largest killer. Very soon, it will be the third largest killer. Okay. Um, the other diseases are lung cancer, tuberculosis. We still got a big pool of tuberculosis. Uh, you know, we, we no matter which where you're practicing, you see end up seeing a lot of complex tuberculosis patients. Um, the lung cancers are on, is one sort of area where we've achieved little success. We're still seeing terminal stage lung cancers, late diagnosis and not much progress in, in treatment. So these are basically the areas that we have a whole lot of other, you know, bronchiectasis, smoking related problems, um, the environment related problems. So it's a broad specialty. But one of the things I must mention here, now you've heard about cardiologists and the big cardiologists right. running hospitals and they've done really well. But if you today go to a hospital and say, I've got breathlessness, very likelihood that you're going to be admitted under cardiology. So right. the focus, I think, is in, in the society, we are like the third or the fourth in terms of absolute numbers, in terms of where the disease profile stands and the WHO feels, but is a spe specialty, especially in this country, we've not grown to the extent where people understand that there's a need to see a pulmonologist or they will. Right. Uh, so I think that's one of the areas that we need to address. In fact, a World Health Organization report was pointing that there is anything between 100 to 150 million people Absolutely. who are suffering from asthma. And, and as a percentage of the total morbidity and mortality, uh, you know, if you look at the respiratory diseases, right. whenever they come of total mortality or the total morbidity in the, in the general population, respiratory diseases are one of the top three or the top five right. uh, problems. But if you look at, you know, the proportional representation in the healthcare of the respiratory departments or the respiratory physicians is a very, very small number. Doctor, is it related to the, the lack of information with the, with the people or is it is it a process which is wrong? I mean, if somebody has a breathing problem, it might be related to the heart, it might be related to the lungs as well. But I think, see, cardiologists have done a good job trying to wait, you know, create that awareness and, you know, I think they have, people do understand if there are a problem, they'll go and see a cardiologist. We still do, do you know, cover that journey, and there are other reasons as well. You know how the training is 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 I think has been scheduled in India. We still don't have a sort of the All India Institute. You wouldn't believe is just started the DM in, in respiratory, but this was two years back. This okay. is the first ever course by the All India Institute, right. and they just have a separate of a department of pulmonology only two years back. So these are things which impact you know the way the specialty is practiced in the country. But I'm sure we've started this journey, there's more and more focus on it. A lot of young, bright doctors are taking it up, and I think we've got a long course, but right. yeah, we've started. Uh, Doctor, World Health Organization says that around 15 to 20 million people in India are suffering from asthma. So what exactly is asthma? 
Okay, so I think the number is still in underestimation, we probably more. Uh, so asthma is basically this episodic, to put it in a layman word, is this episodic disease where there is breathlessness, there is wheezing and there may also be cough. What happens in the layman will just correlate, you know, I don't have breathlessness, therefore I will not have asthma. I think that is a very wrong perception and a myth. It may just present as cough. So, and more and more people are, are presenting with this chronic cough, which is episodic. Mm -hmm. So, two things they should understand, it is sort of related some way to the weather, most of it, it when there is a change in weather. So, if you have a disease which is, you kind of have it early in your childhood or adulthood, which is episodic in nature, may or may not give you breathlessness, give you breath wheezing, may be associated with sneezing, a lot of allergic symptoms. So that's typically asthma for a, you know, in a lame, lame land.